Okay, so today we're going to be showing you how to take an image from the web, put it into SketchUp, and then add that pretty nice frame around it. See? Looks pretty good. So obviously the first thing we have to do is find an image. So I'm going to come over here and I've already got an image pulled up that I found on, on Google Images. I just typed in Vincent Van Gogh and this is what came up and it's from the nationalgallery.org.uk. You can find it right there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to save that image to my computer. Now, now I've already done that so you're not going to see me do that. I figure you can figure that out. Um, so I've got it saved to my computer on my desktop. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take it from there, from that web page, and put bring it in here and put that nice frame around it. Pretty simple, right? So first, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to SketchUp, I'm going to go to File, I'm going to make a new SketchUp document. Now if you've got a person in your document, which they do a lot in your file, go ahead and delete that person. Just get rid of that person. Because if not, that person will show up on your image when you try to put it on a wall. So, uh, and now I need to bring the image into SketchUp. Now you want to go to File and Import, not Open, Import. See, if we go to Open, it's going to look for another Google SketchUp file. If we go to Import, it lets us bring in any image or a SketchUp file that we want. So, when you go to the format, make sure you select JPEG image. That's most likely what your image is going to be anyway. And uh, there it is. There's my Vincent Van Gogh. And now Google, now SketchUp wants me to place it. Um, place it on the origin. This will make your life so much easier. Pull it right on the origin right there and click. Now when you click, now it wants you to resize it. Now this is important. If you notice in the bottom right hand corner, it tells you how 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 much how wide it is and if you're not careful you can make a huge image a huge painting and it'll be impossible to put onto a wall i'm just going to make the width here 1.5 meters and i know it looks really small but 1.5 meters is pretty pretty wide now i need to raise the image up and i can't do it because it's it's locked so we need to unlock it so i'm going to use my select tool which is that black arrow and i want to click on the image and I'm going to get this blue box around it. Now if I right click on the image, I can select explode. Now what this means is when you bring images in, they're kind of locked. You can't do anything to them. We can't push or pull them. But if I select explode, now I'll have the ability to push and pull it. It's because, And that's what I want to do. I'm going to orbit down a little bit. So as you can see, it's really flat and I need to bring it up a little bit or the frame will cover the picture. So I'm going to push pull it and of course you don't want to pull it too much or it's going to look silly. So I'm just going to type in seven centimeters which you can just you just type it in. You don't have to click down there you just type it and hit enter and there it is. Perfect. Uh, now I'm going to switch to my orbit tool here and I'm going to orbit underneath the image to add the frame. If I add it on top, obviously it covers it covers the painting. So we want to do it underneath. And the tool I'm going to be using is this tool right here called the offset tool. And it's a great tool. It's a tool you will use a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that tool. And I'm going to come down here to my image. And I'm going to click once on the back. You saw me click right there. And now it's going, you're going to see this box. Now what this box does is it makes it equidistant or equal distance from each edge. So instead of me drawing it around manually or trying to trying to move a, uh, a rectangle, I just use the offset tool and boom, I'm done. And I know everything is good. And again, you can type in the distance from, from the edge that you want. Uh, I just kind of eyeballed it there. Now I'm going to orbit back on top. Here we go. Ah, uh, I think you see where I'm going with this. So obviously we're going to push, we're going to use the push pull tool and, and we're going to pull it just above the picture. And it's going to give it some, it's just going to make it, give it a little bit of depth. Uh, it just looks really nice. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and now I'm going to add some color to it. Now you can add any texture you want to it, whatever you want. Just make sure you get all the edges and all the sides. The only area I'm not going to be coloring 
is is underneath because that's the back because the back is up against the wall you're not going to see it we're almost done now we have one more step to do and i'm going to go to window and model info that's going to bring up this box now our image our painting is great looks really good but we want it to stick to the wall when we put, try to put it on a wall so i'm going to make sure i'm on file and down here in alignment where it says glue to I'm going to select any. And what this will do is when I put it near a wall, it's going to actually flip and stick onto that wall, which is very handy since that's what I want to do with this. And then I save it, and that's all there is to it. I hope that helped.